I'm Erin Jacobson, known as the Music Industry Lawyer. And today I'm here by the ocean in Southern California because I thought, what better way to explain the most common types of music publishing agreements? So all music starts with a composition, which is why I love the area of music publishing. Now, despite the low streaming rates, there's still actually a lot of money to be made on the publishing side of music. So whether you're a writer looking to sign to a publishing company or you're looking to self-publish your own music, here are the most common types of music publishing agreements that you should know about. The first is a songwriter agreement. This agreement usually involves the writer transferring 100% of the copyright of the song subject to the agreement to the music publisher and the income from those songs being split 50-50 between the writer and the publisher. These agreements used to be incredibly common 50-60 years ago, but now they are less common because more writers are trying to retain ownership of their copyrights. The second type of agreement is a co-publishing agreement where the songwriter typically transfers 50% of the copyright to the song subject to the agreement to the music publisher. Then the income from those songs is usually split 75% going to the writer and 25% going to the music publisher. Another very common type of agreement is an administration agreement. This usually involves the writer keeping 100% of the copyright and then the administrator, the music publisher, taking an administration fee usually between 10 and 25%. Another absolutely essential agreement, which is not necessarily an agreement between a songwriter and a music publisher, but is needed between co-writers, is a songwriter split agreement. Now, if you do have a music publishing deal, most music publishers will require you to turn in a songwriter split agreement anyway for any songs that you've co-written. However, if you are self-publishing, co-writing with anybody, you need to have this agreement because it greatly minimizes the disputes on splits for songwriter shares later on. The last type of agreement, very popular on the market right now, is a licensing agreement. It's usually from a company like a placement house or a pitching company that is pitching music for synchronization placement in TV and film. These agreements are usually some sort of hybrid between pitching and one form or another of a music publishing agreement. However, the rates and the structures are all over the place, so you definitely want to have an experienced music attorney review those to make sure that you're not signing a very unfair deal, which some of them are. So what do you do when you need one of these agreements drafted or you've been presented with one of these agreements? You contact an experienced music attorney that understands music publishing. These deals get very complex. There's a lot of specific terms, royalty streams, custom and practice. For a songwriter split agreement, while that can also be custom drafted for you, you can also download a template form at my other company's website, Indie Artist Resource, which is IndieArtistResource.com. Also, if you're interested in learning more about music publishing, how to protect and profit from your original music, you'll want to check out my video, Protecting and Profiting from Your Original Music, also at IndieArtistResource.com. In that video, I go more in depth with the different kinds of publishing agreements, how to set up and run your own music publishing company, the different royalty streams within music publishing and the requirements for collecting those royalty payments, and different ways to exploit your music to earn money from it. So again, that video is available at IndieArtistResource.com. And if I can assist you with any of these types of music publishing deals, whether it be drafting or reviewing, I do them all the time. You can contact me through my website at themusicindustrylawyer.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time where I explain another music industry topic.